Good morning, everybody. This is the science exam review worksheet for semester three, grade four at the International School of Innovation. Let's start with our questions. Question number one, indicate the true statement or statements, and you have to correct the false one or ones. This question, first, you have to say, if it's true, you have to say true. If it's false, you have to write false, and then you have to write the correction of this in a complete answer. Okay, let's start with the first one. Let's start with Rua. One, they say that ants and bees, they are vertebrates. True or false? False. First step, we write false. Then, what's the correction of this? Excellent. Ants and bees, they are invertebrates they don't have backbone okay thank you Rewa. moving to two yes Karim they say that mollusks are fast moving animals false, false. what the correction of this Karim mollusks are, mollusks are mainly slow -moving. slow moving animals so mollusks are slow moving animals when do they move fastly uh, Tia when yes when they feel danger example about this yes I'm just example of these knowledge squared octopus okay thank you moving to three segmented worms they have flat and thin bodies Let's take Alma. Segmented worm, they have flat and thin bodies. What do you think? True or false? False. false. Yes. What's the correction of this? Okay. So flat worms, they have flat and thin bodies. You have to pay attention, please, here, that whenever you have segmented worms you don't have to cancel for example segmented worms and you put instead of it only flat worms this is not the correction and you want to take the full mark for this you have to write this in a complete answer moving to three uh, four sorry this is Muhammad Basma this is four five moving to four Muhammad Basma the spider has two body parts and eight legs this is true or false true this is true Thank you, Muhammad. Five and six, they have three pairs of antenna. Let's take Leah. What do you think? And six, they have three pairs of antenna? False. False. What's the correction of this? And six, they have one pair of antenna. Thank you. Moving to question number two. You have to complete the table below. We have animals and we have the classes. As you know, we have the classes mollusks, we have worms, we have arthropods, we have insects. Okay? Let's start with the first one. We have the snail. What do you think snail is? Fatima. Snail belongs to the class of mollusks. Moving to and yes, smile and belong to the group of insects. Octopus Hadi belong to the group of mollusks. Canarian, they belong to the group of yes, Zara. Worms. Moving to clams, they belong to the group of yes, Yara. Mollusks. Earthworm, they belong to the group of yes, Ali. Earthworm, worms, sure. Moving to dragonfly, let's see. Celine, dragonfly belongs to the group of insects. Lies belong to the group of yes, Sabine. Insects also. Moving to 
Moving to question number three. Guess who am I? Let's start with Fatima. Fatima, I'm the heart outer covering that protects the animal body. I am the exoskeleton. Serene Ftuni, I'm the largest ant. I am the, the queen ant. Three, let's see. Celine, I'm a wingless insect, Celine. I am the lice. Other example of, uh, of wingless insects. Can you give other example? Yes. Cerebral furnace, that's it. Okay, thank you. Four, I'm used by the insect or by insects to fly. Yes, Celine. I am the wings. Five, I have flat and thin bodies. I am, yes, Rua, I am the flat worms. For example, if I tell you I have segmented and rounded body, I am, yes, the segmented worm, sure. I meet with the queen and I am the, yes, Alma, drones, excellent. For example, if I ask you another one, I can produce pearl. I am the, yes, Yara, clan. Excellent. Thank you. Moving to question number four. We have to label the parts of an insect. Let's start with the first part. Let's see for smile. This part goes for these parts. What are these parts? Antenna. Antenna. Stick. Oh, Hamad, Hamad Basma, this part goes for what? This one. This one goes for what? Head. Head. Okay, let's see. Zahra, this part goes for what? This one. Which are? This the thorax. Yes, Tia. This part code for what? Legs. These are the legs. Okay, Karim. This part is for the abdomen. And we have the last part, which is for Hadi. This part is for wings. wings. So, Sabine, the body part of an insect is divided into how many parts? The body of an insect is divided into how many parts? Three, Three parts. What are these parts? This is the first part, head, Forest. two, the thorax, and, abdomen. and the abdomen is three. Okay, thank you. Moving to question number five. We have to classify the animals below as mollusks, worms, arthropods, or insects. We have cockroaches, clams, earthworms, grasshoppers, crabs, snails, squids, flies, lice, and tapworms. Let's start with the first one. Cockroaches, yes, for Fatima. Cockroaches, let's go for which group? And six, this is for cockroaches. Moving to this, and we need this. Clams. Clams belong to the group of, yes, Sabine. Clams. Mollusks. Mollusks, sure. Clams. Earthworm, good for a group of, yes, Smile. Earthworms, from its name? Worms, sure. Earthworms. So, smile, earthworm, do you have, do you have flat and thin bodies or do, you, do they have round and segmented bodies? Flat worms. Earthworms. Earthworms. What is the definition of flat worms? What do they have? Flat worms. From its name, they have flat and thin. Body, okay. Grasshoppers moving to Yara, yes. Arthropods, or we can put it in the form of insects. Let's put it in insects, okay. To be more safe, let's put it in insects. So, grasshoppers, it's also in, in arthropods, okay. You can put it in both. Moving to crabs, let's see. Sirin, crabs, arthropods, crabs. Moving to snails, let's see. 
snails Leia snails they belong to the group of snails mollusks squids the sea celine squids mollusks flies yes Mchat. Insects, fly. Okay, moving to lies. Let's see, Taya. Also insects. You can also put here, it's double meat. You can put it both. Moving to the last one, which is tap worm from its name, tap worm. Yes, Ali? Short worm from its name, tap worms. Where do they live, tap worms? Who can? Yes, Sarah. Where do they live? Tap worms. Excellent. What do they cause? Okay, that's it. They may go home sick. They are harmful for their host. We are so happy. <laughs> okay, moving to, thank you. Moving to question number six, which is about ants. Ants are social insects that live together in special colonies. These colonies do range from dozens of individuals to millions of ants living together in a highly organized colony. According to your acquired knowledge, meaning that according to what you study, answer the following questions. Who is the largest ant in the colony? What is its role? You have to pay attention to these types of questions. This type of questions. You have to solve the first part and then you have to move to the second. If you see here, who is the largest insect in the ant in the colony? This is the first part of the question. Second part is what is its rule? Most of you in the exam, they forget the another part. They saw the first one and they forget the second. Okay, so you have to be careful about this. Who is the largest ant in the colony? Yes, Sabine. Can you answer the first part only? Who is the largest ant? The queen ant. Okay, the queen ant. So you have to put the queen ant is the largest and in the colony the colony so here we saw the first part second part what is its role yes Muhammad the role of the queen ant excellent it lays all the eggs in the colony so it lays all the eggs in the colony. Thank you, Muhammad. Moving to second question. Two. Why do ants communicate with with each other? Yes, Celine. Why do they do they communicate with each other? Ants communicate with each other. Yes. Signals of danger and. Uh, yes the of okay so they you have to say first ants they communicate with each other two first to signal or uh, to give signals about danger give signals or to give signs how to say they are in danger to see signals about danger and to signal the location or you can see you can see for the for example the site or the place of foot okay the location of foot thank you Siri Moving to question number three. What are the drones and what happens after mating? This question also is composed of two parts. Let's say the first part. What are the drones? It's for Fatima. What are the drones? Okay, the drones are the ants that meet that meet with the queen okay here we saw the first part of the question second part 
and what happened after meeting? What happened after meeting? Yes, Yara, it's for you. Okay, the drones they die soon after meeting. While the queen, what happens to the queen? Returns to the soil. Thank you, Yara. Okay, thank you.